So what is up pimps, hoes and buffaloes, I have a gameplay to show you guys today that I am actually really really proud of. This is a 43 and 2 regular TDM on the map village using the M4A1 and the assault kill streaks as well. The assault package is something you guys said you wanted to see me post a little bit more of a little while back. Simply because you guys were getting a little bit bored of the same old specialist stuff. And there is also another big catalyst as to why I am using this setup. And you guys will probably already be able to guess it from the title of this video. But we will go on to that a lot more later on. But first of all I want to explain to you guys the strategies and the actual class that I was using which enabled me to get such a decent scoreline. And for most of the game, you see me camping under the B bridge in the domination point. And I'll explain to you guys how the class setup enables that to be such a strong spot. With this M4, I'm using the red dot sight and the silencer. Of course, the silencer is pivotal with every assault rifle and machine gun, submachine gun on this game. And the red dot sight for me is a must for the M4A1 simply because the iron sight isn't all that great compared to the likes of the Scar Rail or the ACR. So for that added bit of precision, definitely use the red dot sight and accompany the perk setup. I would probably use sleight of hand. You see me in this gameplay using scavenger, but it was worthless considering I hardly picked up any <laughs> any scavenger packs throughout the whole game because the kill streaks did a lot of work for me. As well as that hardline, it enables you to get those kill streaks early, and marksman as well really does give me that advantage from these medium range engagements that you see me getting into for most of this gameplay when I'm not just picking off people that keep coming back at me on the rock. Which was great. These guys weren't all that amazing, so just don't don't take the scoreline at face value. These guys weren't all that great, and they put me they paint me in a really really good light. But I want to explain to you guys why I am using this class setup. And those of you who watch Wings of Redemption will realise that recently he has been having a lot of success using the M4A1. And so I thought, you know, being my favourite commentator, I watch his videos every single day, I listen to everything he has to say, and considering this guy has had four years experience playing Call of Duty, well, he's probably played games for longer than that, I know he has, but four years of experience posting Call of Duty videos on YouTube, and over 2,000 videos means that this guy must know what he's talking about, and considering people still have the cheek, to go on about, you know, saying he's overweight and all of this rubbish is simply because they are jealous that Wings of Redemption has tasted and is still tasting success of a really, really strong and good YouTube channel. And that really, really annoys me when people just make these jealous remarks because, you know, they think they have to put other people down to make themselves look better. That you're behind a screen, you're not big. <laughs> just just grow a pair of bollocks, seriously. But Wings of Redemption was the commentator that I first ever started watching. And by all means, I don't want to try and claim that I have the title of Wings' biggest fanboy because I don't. There's been people watching him right from the start. You know, the likes of Domino, who actually got me into watching Wings' videos. He's probably a bigger fan than I am simply because he's been watching for so long. And he could probably name you guys pretty much all of Wings' videos as well. But Wings, for me was a big inspiration for me to actually start playing Call of Duty, let alone start doing YouTube. And I probably will do a video about my inspirations right from the offset about YouTube, probably later on this week maybe. But Wings of Redemption was actually the first Call of Duty YouTuber that I watched. And back then, I was solely a FIFA player and I actually used to think that people who played Call of Duty were a little bit geeky and a little bit sad. And I may be a little bit right about the geeky comment because there's a lot of tryhards out there. But in terms of it being sad, that is something that I definitely definitely take back this is one of the most fun things to do and although mw3 is a pretty shit game you can still have a lot of fun on it with the people you play and the reason i love wing so much is that he's got this mw3 game given to him and when i say given to him he makes the most out of the game for his subscribers and by all means there is a really really high standard set on youtube nowadays and Wings sets his own standards, and that is something I really, really like about Wings. He doesn't follow the, everyone else, which is what a lot of people do, and that is something that I actually thought I was starting to verge on doing. But then I realised that being individual, doing your own thing, making yourself your own little niche, is what makes Wings so successful. And the fact that, you know, nowadays he doesn't get as many views on his videos as he used to do, that doesn't mean he's got worse as a commentator, by all means, no way. In my opinion, Wings, is, Wings has got even better. He used to post some amazing gameplays, but in terms of his commentaries, he is so much more interesting to listen to now, and he's probably the only commentator that I could actually sit and listen to for a longer period of time, and that is probably because he has so much perspective on what goes on. He doesn't just look at things at face value, which you guys know is something I don't like doing as well, considering I made a video on it saying don't take gameplay at face value but wings of redemption does this and you know wings realizes that you know the gameplay isn't the biggest 
and the be all and end all of the Call of Duty community. So he posts what he posts, and that is something I really respect him for. And as well as that, I tweeted him a few months back, and he sent me back what I thought at the time was a really harsh comment. And looking back on it now, it was actually my tweet that was stupid and dumb, and Wings gave the correct response. But anyway, love your wings, and I love all my buffaloes as well. Back with another video tomorrow, guys. Daily uploads now. I'm excited for this. Peace.